guy looks like he's moving. Yes. You have faith he's gonna get out of the way pretty quickly? No. So how often do you get stuck here? Uh, probably twice a week. Max trains come often. You wait a minute and you're on your way. Freight trains, there's no schedule and you never know how long you're gonna be stuck. And uh, there's very little we can do about it. PBOT, ODOT, and TriMet are all well aware of the issues freight trains create. And if you're a regular commuter through Southeast Portland, you know the streets to avoid. In all, there are 15 at-grade rail crossings between Southeast Stark and Southeast 12. At times, nearly all of them are blocked, occasionally backing up the I-5 exit ramp to Water Avenue, frequently causing TriMet's new high-speed division bus line to detour and often stranding motorists. The railroad loads and unloads at their Brooklyn Yard facility in Southeast Portland. The problem? is that the trains are now double or triple the length of that facility. They're using a public street crossing essentially as part of their uh, warehouse and industrial operations. TriMet installed an overpass, later named the Bob Stacy Crossing, to give cyclists and pedestrians a detour in 2020, after scenes like this, captured by Oregonian staff photographer Mark Graves. Now the city is applying for a federal grant to study how they can best mitigate the traffic and safety impacts of freight trains parked across city streets. If you had some kind of advanced warning, like a couple blocks down the road, would that help you in your day-to-day -day travel? Yes, because I'd take a different route. Short-term solutions might involve a series of automated signs to give drivers advanced warning of blockages and offer alternative routes. Bigger fixes, like a single bridge or an underpass, would be costly. Tens of millions of dollars, says the city. Barring any change in railroad operations, uh, which would be the, the fastest remedy, um, you know, any you know, short-term uh, relief or fixes we're able to provide with wayfinding or signage or anything even uh, that specific are years off. So we're all going to wait a while longer. Did you shut your engine off here while you're sitting here waiting? I haven't gotten that far yet. What's the threshold for doing that? Gas is getting expensive, you know. It's not a max, for sure. <laughs>